Old grandmother Sandra Lane could be seen wiping away tears this morning as her husband testified in her murder trial. She's accused of killing 17-year-old Jonathan Hoffman. The 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has been following this trial from the very beginning and joins us now over the phone. Kimberly, what did the husband say on the stand today? Well, some very interesting things, Jeff. Uh, one of the things he talked about was Jonathan uh, going, getting a call to actually get a drug test the morning of his killing. And what he said was, is they got a call from the drug lab that morning. They had to, and his wife, he calls her Sandy. We're talking about Sandra Lane. Drove him to that drug test, and something happened. They didn't detail why on the stand, but they had to go back for a second drug test that same day. And what he says when they got back from that second drug test. His wife told him to take the dog for a walk, and he said that his wife told him she would call him when it was time for him to come home. He said that's not unusual. He said he drove the dog to a nearby park where he actually waited for it, <clears throat> excuse me, for his wife to give him a call. And while he was at that park, he said he got tired because some time had gone by. And so he was waiting, and then he was watching a basketball game, some kids playing basketball at a nearby uh, court. And he heard some sirens. And these are the sirens that were actually going and responding to Jonathan's own 911 call for help. But the, the, the Fred Lane, Sandra's husband, said he didn't know that. But he does say that he did think to himself, quote, I hope it's not John. Now, remind, let me just tell you that he thinks actually that John is a, um, has been a problem. He admits with his wife, he says they argued often, but he admits that he never saw Jonathan attack or hit his wife. Fred Lane also told the jury that he was actually still sort of insulated from the day-to-day -day problems between Jonathan and his grandmother. But again, he says while he did not physically see Jonathan ever attack her, he does say that they did argue back and forth often. Something interesting also that came out is he actually said that when he found out that there was a gun in the house, he says he was flabbergasted that there was a gun in there because he said he never actually knew that what well, he first thought that Jonathan actually brought the gun into the house and initially one was thinking this is what he's done now he's brought a gun into the house but he later found out that it was his own wife who brought the gun in the house he said he never even knew his wife had applied for a permit and not even knew that she even yeah. brought a gun in the house didn't know she, there was even ammo in the house so some interesting developments coming out from Fred Lane on the stand right now again just as you said Sandra Lane wiping away tears as she sits in the courtroom listening to her husband he's now under cross-examination right now no doubt the defense is going to try to bring out some of the more issues that they say will help their case which is that they say that Jonathan was a uh, was a problem if you will for Sandra Lane we'll have more later today on action News for now back to you. We'll have that coming up at five and six uh, o'clock today. Kimberly will have that report. Just to add, the sources tell Seven Action News that Hoffman's parents are now in town and uh, they may appear on behalf of the defense and believe that Lane killed their son. Uh, information into uh, Seven Action News. We'll have more coming up tonight. Back to you.